Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to deal with the question of what is a transitive relation. Okay, like in previous videos, I suppose what we should do is we should probably create a couple of relations and maybe test them uh, for transitivity. Uh, but first, before we can actually create relations, uh, a relation is a structure that's built on a particular set. So we need to choose a particular set first of all. Uh, so let's just say for this particular example that the set A uh, contains the entries 2, 4, 7 and 9. Or the set A contains the elements 2, 4, 7 and 9. And let's construct the cross product A cross A. Uh, so to construct the cross product A cross A, we list the set A down the first column and across the first row. So we have 2, 4, 7, 9, 2, 4, 7 and 9. And we construct all the ordered pairs uh, from associating uh, an entry on the first column with an entry in the first row. So 2 is associated with 2, 2 at 4, 2 is associated with 7, 2 at 9, 4 with 2, 4 is associated with 4, 4 with 7, 4 with 9, 7 with 2, 7 with 4, 7 with 7, 7 with 9, 9 with 2, 9 with 4, 9 with 7, and 9 with 9. Okay, so we take all of these uh, ordered pairs and we throw them inside a set to give us the set A cross A, which is the cross product. So we take them all, 2, 2, 2, 4, and we throw them all into the set and what we end up with is the cross product of the set A, the set A with itself. Okay, so what we know from previous videos and by definition a relation is simply a subset of the cross product. So let me uh, choose two relations. Let me say the first relation R1 is equal to the set that contains the ordered pairs 2, 2. 2, 4, 2, 7, and let's say we choose, let's say we also choose uh, 4, 7. So we put 4, 7 in here. Okay? That's my first relation. And let's choose another relation. Let's say we have R2, which is another subset. Let's say we have 9, 2, 2, 4, 2, 7, and let's say we choose 7, 4 this time. The question we want to answer is whether these relations are transitive. But I suppose before we can answer that particular question, we probably should mean define uh, what we mean by a transitive relation. Okay, uh, so we do have a definition for a transitive relation, and what we say is a relation, a relation or on a set A. That means that the the objects in R or the ordered pairs in R uh, have been selected from the cross product of the set A with itself. So a relation R on a set A uh, is said to be transitive, transitive uh, if, if for all, let's say, x, y, and z's that are in the set A, if for all the ways we can choose three values from here, okay, uh, if for all x, y, and z that are in A, okay, if the ordered pair x, y is an element of the relation, so when we associate x with y, if that's in our relation, and if the ordered pair y, z is in our relation, then we'd expect to find, then we would expect to find the ordered pair x, z in our relation. Okay? It's a little bit, I suppose, complicated, yeah? But all it's saying is this, is that anytime we can choose two ordered pairs, uh, where the 
where the, the range value in the first ordered pair is the same as the domain value in the second ordered pair. Okay? Any time, time we can choose two ordered pairs with that particular property. Okay? If the relation is transitive, we'd expect there to be an ordered pair that goes from the domain of the first ordered pair to the range of the second ordered pair. Okay, so let's test this particular relation R1 to see whether it's transitive. Okay, so let's write down again R1 is the set or the relation that contains the ordered pairs 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 7, and 4, 7. And what we want to do is we want to test for transitivity. Okay, so don't forget we need to find ordered pairs that when we pair them up together okay that they look something like this uh, where the second value in the first ordered pair is the same as the first value in the second ordered pair so looking at the ordered pair 2 2 the ordered pair 2 2 could be paired off against well it could be paired off against itself the ordered pair 2 2 could be paired off against the ordered pair 2 4 the ordered pair 2 2 could be paired off against the ordered pair 2-7. Uh, 2 2 can't be paired off against 4-7 because the 2 is different to the 4. Looking at the ordered pair 2-4, the only way we could pair that off is by pairing 2-4 off against 4-7. You can see the, the range value in the first ordered pair is the same as the domain value in the second ordered pair. Looking at the ordered pair 2-7, well, there's no ordered pair that begins with a 7, so we can't pair that off with anything. And likewise, for the ordered pair 4, 7, there's no ordered pair that begins with a 7, so it can't be paired off against anybody. Okay, so these are, are candidates, okay? And what we would expect to happen is this. If, if the relation was transitive, we'd expect to be able to go from here directly to here. In other words, we'd expect to be able to find the ordered pair 2, 2. And it is in there, okay? But we'd expect this to be true for all of these particular candidates. So in other words, we'd expect to be able to find the ordered pair 2 to 4, which we can. We'd expect to be able to find the ordered pair 2 to 7, which we can. And we'd expect to be able to find the ordered pair 2 taken to 7 also, which, which does exist. And this is true for all of these particular candidates, yeah? All of these ordered pairs are in the relation. And so, by definition, so by definition, uh, R1 is transitive. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at another relation, okay? Let's look at the relation R2, which was the set that contained the ordered pairs 9-2, 2, 4, 2, 7, and 7, 4. Okay. And let's see if we find two ordered pairs in here where the, the, the range value of the first ordered pair is the same as the domain value of the second ordered pair. And, okay, well, 9, 2 could be paired off with 2, 4. 9, 2 could be paired off with 2, 7. And 9, 2 can't be paired off with anything else. What about 2, 4? Uh, is there any order pair that begins with a 4? No, there's not. So 2, 4 cannot be paired off against anything. What about 2, 7? Well, 2, 7 could be paired off against 7, 4. Okay. And what about 7, 4? Well, 7, 4, is there an order pair that begins with a 4? No, there's not. So these are candidates to check for transitivity. Okay. If, if R2 was transitive, we'd expect to be able to go from 9 directly into 4. So we'd expect there to be an ordered pair 9, 4 in this relation, which does not. So even at this stage we know it's not transitive. But similarly, if it was transitive, we'd expect to be able to go from 9 directly across to 7. So we'd expect to be able to find the ordered pair 9, 7. Once again, that's not there. And if it was transitive, we'd expect to be able to go from 2 directly across to 4. And it just happens that that's there. But we found two reasons reason one okay, and reason two okay, uh, why this relation is not transitive. It just happens that there is one transitive couple in there okay, but it has to be true for them all for it to be transitive. Okay. 
Uh, well, guys, I hope that was uh, informative. Uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support uh, Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and thank you for your time. Okay, bye bye.